Welcome to a special interview with Franciscan University. I'm your host here, Michael Hernan, Vice President of Strategic Relations, and I have uh, two special guests here today, uh, men who have done some great things in the area of film. Uh, first, we have Eric Groth, who is a 1993 grad of Franciscan, uh, president and founder of ODB Films. You've been involved with a lot of projects, um, but the, the project that you're an ex executive producer on, uh, Paul, the Apostle of Christ, and um, we also have a special guest, uh, Jim Caviezel, who really needs no introduction, but uh, through your, your portrayal of Jesus and the passion of the Christ, and also your portrayal now as St. Luke uh, in uh, Paul, Apostle of Christ. Uh, it's really inspiring. So welcome you both to the, the show here. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, well, uh, th 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 this film is really inspiring, and I'm so glad that you guys did it. And this is a, a great uh, match made in heaven here uh, for a project. Um, what, with all the different saints that you could choose from, what really drew, uh, drew out Paul? What was the motivation or what did you see was, was needed in this time uh, that really was important to bring out the story of Paul? Because there's a lot of people to choose from. Uh, why Paul? I can answer yeah. on the uh, basis of I, I look for good material. Yeah. So I, I didn't go into this like, you know, I got to do a, a, a movie on Paul, the apostle or whatnot. I'm, yes. I'm, I get a lot of scripts across my desk, and um, this just was really good. And the material was powerful. I loved how um, Andrew Hyatt uh, took the, the director and writer, yes. he took the material, and you, he was able to just weave in uh, Paul's writings yeah. into, in, in the lyrical form mm -hmm. without coming over and pounding it on yes. your head, you know? Uh, and I thought it didn't that feel was, forced at all. It was yeah, just flowed. I, I so just flowed. felt that that Absolutely. was going to play really well with um, all audiences, including secular. Yeah. Um, can it? Can you make a great film? And, right. and uh, this one is that. Yeah, it is. It really is a great film. Yeah. What, what about for you? Yeah, we spent. You know, we spend time. Like we we went into this film. We actually produced a film called Full of Grace first, which was kind of a reflection on the last few days of the Blessed Mother's life on Earth. Okay. And that kind of came out of a desire to create films on lives of the saints. So your question, like, who do, there's so many. I mean, we look at JP2 canonized like 1,500 saints during his papacy. And, yes. and, and who do you, where do you start and what stories do you tell? But we, we as, a, as a creative team, had a passion and a desire to tell Paul's story. I mean, mm. there's just, it's an amazing, mm. it's an amazing story that's so, in a sense, contemporary for yes. today. Yes. And modern, you've got this man who, who was the greatest and probably the father of persecution of the Christian church, mm -hmm. um, a first century terrorist in mm -hmm. so many ways, um, but real devout. Like he had this passionate love for his faith, his Jewish faith. And what he was doing was good intentioned, but it was just wrong. Right, right. And he had no concept that he was, he was actually confronting and assaulting our Lord, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus Christ. And, and so he has this amazing conversion experience mm -hmm. where God says, you know, uh, enough, this is me that you're, you're persecuting and, mm -hmm. and, and, and I want you and I want you, I want you to, to become, to be used for my purposes. Yeah, you know? that's a powerful conversion. Right, and he goes through that radical shift and, you know, I think it's such a great message for today. So many people, we just, we, we live in so many different ways and in a lot of ways we, you know, you wonder, can people change, you know, yes. in, in our time, can people become different. Can I change? Yeah. You know, can I become different? And, and yet Paul was, Saul was so worth it to God that he said, I'm going to use you and we're going to shift this. And he went from being the greatest persecutor to the most prolific writer of the New Testament, the most amazing promulgator of the Christian faith. Mm. And I think that's, that's a really important message for today, just on the practical human side that yeah, yeah. we need models like that who, who God's mercy is always there and we're, we're mm. always He's always reaching out to us and we can change and people can change. We don't need to write people off because they're not doing what we like. Or His mercies not, are new every morning. And for everybody, yeah, you know, and yeah, that's yeah. A, an important message for today. Yeah, well, I also think just thinking about looking back at the early church with all the struggles that we have here today, you know, there's, there's so much sign of hope in what the church is, the early church has gone through. You know, as you, you played uh, Luke in this and, and, you, and, and Luke risked uh, to go and visit Paul. Um, what, what do you think that speaks to? I mean, it speaks to the mercy. It speaks to this. Uh, what would you hope that people walk away when they watch this film? What, what would you want them to see and hear and understand? Well, you said, you said Luke risked everything to go be with his friend. Yeah. And in the film, we don't know the outcome, what, what, where, that, where that's going to take us or whatnot. But what was he before? 
you know, and what was Saul before he was Paul, you know. So um, I often take my stuff from personal experiences in my own industry. In this particular case, um, you have a guy who is a, a Greek, a doctor, probably has it made in the shape. Right. Does, what, what, why, why, would you, why would you need God? I mean, you can be with men, women, whatever you want. Yeah. And you want to go get religious. Right. You know, uh, you want to obey that. Um, and there was a great hook in the movie when he said that I, uh, I, I never um, met Christ in the flesh, but the day I heard you preach, Paul, mm -hmm. I saw him in you. Yeah, and I thought that, you know, is, there been in, it, people have asked me many times, how did you play Jesus? I just saw him as a semis of people who played Christ to me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them weren't even from my own religion. Right. Um, in fact, a lot of them weren't, and they uh, they offered me a love that I um, found prof profound, and it was unconditional. Mm. Mm. And uh, so, the the film when we we were talking about it is human. Very the humor. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, I love the, the back and forth banter. You know? Bantering, mm -hmm. the, and uh, that, that that there was a you can tell just that they've had a a long past. Mm. together um, and uh, and finding that tone is very very difficult but what again what is the m most important thing is when people come to a movie like this would they fall in love with Christ mm. even though they're he, I'm not playing him and someone said the other day well you kind of reminded me of Jesus in moments and I said well that's a good thing yes that's because right. we should be Christ at times That's right yeah, I saw that one shot of you in the, in the shadows there. That was like, that's Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's true, I mean, because that's what we are called to, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're both uh, serious, devout Catholics, I, right? I was that's hoping beautiful. I'd get that, right? Yeah. You, know, you, you hope that. But the, but the most important thing is the film, credible, regardless of yeah. uh, the genre you do, that it, 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 it's, it's powerful. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and that's the one you know miracle I always pray for, whether it be the Passion of the Christ uh, mm, or any Monte Cristo or any of them. You yeah. you, you you pray that that uh, that the, the performances are a phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that the words are conveyed in such a way that um, and you don't know. That's right. You just don't know when they go to put it together. There's a lot of things you don't you can't control. The lighting might not quite be right, but there's some little imperfections in this that make this film perfect. Yeah, yeah. The humanity of it too, yeah. you know, just the, like for people to come and see a film where they realize that like Luke and Priscilla and Aquila, these... I love that, that, that they you were, have Priscilla and Aquila, that was just... Oh. Right, right, that they're just, they're, they're like we are, you yeah. know, we have this tendency, I mean, I remember being a kid and going to Mass and then, and, and I'd love being in churches with the stained glass because I'd kind of zone up and, and, and check out these, these, these amazing figures and mm. And we put them on a pedestal. You know, we think, wow, they're way out there, and I'm called to be a saint. I'm called to, to, to that kind of life, but can I reach it? But when you see, like, when we hear those readings from Luke or from Acts of the Apostles week in and week out and, and Paul's epistles, and, and you hear those writings and readings, and you're inspired by the movement of the Holy Spirit through those writings, but then when you can see an actual person who right. may have, that may have been how it came out in context, right. that's something pretty, pretty good that I want, you know, I hope people kind of, they have to be able to identify with these saints. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I know that I could be there. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, God's calling us all to be saints, to yeah. be uh, holy. You know, both. I think that when I in the industry that I work in, there is in athletes that I worked with, uh, mental, physical, but always lacking in the spirit. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the fourth quarter in the game, when you've got nothing left, what do you draw from? Some people just draw from their own personal strength, and I, I did that. Yeah. But I get a lot more bang for my buck if uh, God's part of it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, I mean, this this film um, is it's got so much to speak to our times. It's really, really so beautiful, and it really does remind me a lot of the passion and, and, and some of the cinematography and just the, the, some of the beauty that I see mm. in this film. You know, as as you prepared for. Uh, playing Jesus in the Passion, and as you prepared to do St. Paul, I mean, as artists, as actors, you know, 
How do you step into that role? I mean, that, that, that seems so powerful. I know you said you look back at the people you've seen that, that reflect Christ to you. Mm -hmm. But as an artist, uh, that, that seems like a, a, it's a big leap, but maybe you're, it's not as big a leap uh, for you because that's your world. But what really inspires you in this film uh, to, to really take this role on as same how, how, So there's two questions. Yeah, I'm throwing a bunch at you. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you how I pre pre prepare, prepare for this yeah. or any film uh, I do. A, is the script really good? Yeah. You know, fundamentally, I, I look at the, um, the execution of the story, you know, is there any kind of moral redemption to it or whatnot? How does it read? You know, I always told people when I was 30 years old, um, or 28 years old, I, I, would do, I was doing The Thin Red Line, and I, I didn't have the experience to diagnose a problem in a script. I could feel something's not quite right. right but I couldn't diagnose it. And, um, I listened to people like Sean Penn, I listened to people like Terrence Malick that helped me out. Um, and, uh, but after, you know, that was 20 years ago, now I can pretty much sit down and tell you, okay, if we do this, this is what the film is going to be. Uh, and, um, but the execution of that story, me, spiritually wise, I go to Mass every day. Mm. I, I take the Eucharist. I mean, you know, when you have the readings and someone says from Romans, they, I'm listening to Paul speak, yeah. and we're taking it, it's daunting. Mm -hmm. And, but um, the Eucharist gets in my, literally, tangibly gets in my DNA, yeah. gets in my heart, and, um, you know, then at that point, um, to stay in the zone, I pray the rosary keeps me uh, completely in a, at least I did during the Passion, yeah. as I constantly would go through all the mysteries every day, especially yeah. on the cross, yes. um, because I had, was in physical uh, pain. Right, right. But, um, uh, and, uh, you know, so the, these are the, the uh, uh, things that both keep my mental capabilities strong. Um, I have a great devotion to St. Genesius, the patron saint of actors. Um, I often carry, I carried uh, the relic of Luke with me and also the wow. rel relic of Paul, uh, the Archbishop of Malta, allowed me to use it and a few other saints and I keep those with me and... Um, That's great preparation. Yeah, right there. It's, it's <laughs> solid. so spiritual for the, both the physical uh, and the mental uh, thing and I don't assume I have it down. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. So prayer is really important because uh, um, literally, you know, the part in the movie where we said, write it down, mm -hmm. that became something that organically happened, wasn't written in the script, just right. started to happen, and, mm. and uh, we were able to, to um, uh, put those little pieces in there that, mm. again, brought, made them more human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we need a father, the paternal side, we need a mother, uh, maternal, and I don't, sometimes you've got too much of this and you need a little bit of this, hmm. sometimes, and you don't know. In every role? He, and you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, to, to, to change gears just slightly, yeah. um, you know, there, there's rumors abounding about the passion in a sequel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can talk uh, a little bit about it or share a little bit what it was like working on the passion, but thinking forward, you know, is it, how, how's that progressing or what can you share? Uh, the last conversation I had with Mel on that was after USA Today article yeah. came out. And um, I don't think my agency had ever had to field so many phone calls in the <laughs> world. I believe it. I, I, it's exploding. It's, it's electric. You know, oh, it's I, a, yeah. this one. And I just said, um, it's going to be the biggest film in history. And yeah, wait till you get all you thought. I mean, it's going to be. That's powerful. I'll just tell you this much: when the 
tomb opens up, there won't be little Easter bunnies and Easter eggs <laughs> down and around. Spoiler alert. Okay. All right. Good, good to know. Good to know. Well, uh, so, so both of you in the film industry, as you look at uh, Franciscan University, our alumni, our, our friends of the university, students here, what encouragement, what inspiration would you have, whether they're looking at going into acting or into film in general? Because we need more Catholics, we need people with good art yeah. and mm -hmm. good sense to enter uh, and, and recapture truth, mm -hmm. beauty, and goodness, yeah, right? Absolutely. So any advice that you would have or encouragement that you would offer? Um, you know, be, uh, live your faith. Mm. God will guide you where you're supposed to go. You know, look, I, there's, nobody could um, prevent me from doing what I was going to do in this industry. My, certainly, uh, uh, people were concerned. My, I'm sure my, I know my parents were, uh, uh, you know, that you're going to go and do this. But, you know, once I decided why I was going to do it, I, I stuck to it. And but, didn't you feel called into this? You know, for sure. That. 19. Yeah. 19. But for five years, I f thought I might be, that, that, that I could do this. But mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't really know. Um, did you find impediments? That did, why, why, didn't, aren't you a natural? You look great, on, so you should be a natural, right? <laughs> yeah. Just jumping right in. No, when you tell your friends, they think you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, um, it was a... Uh, you know, getting the Passion of the Christ at age 33, um, initials, JC, um, you know, it's, a, it's been a, a, I think whatever you do, if you have to be great at what you do. Mm. And um, I tell people that, you, you know, when I came into the business, I had a dream one night where I was a, Jesus was holding me as a little lamb Mm. because I had no idea how I was going to do whatever, you know, it was very difficult. I had to find my own teachers, my own uh, way. And, uh, but at some point when you become famous, well, you really don't need God anymore, do you? And then the reverse was, I'm now holding the lamb. Yeah. And I can take it, if I get hungry, slaughter it and eat it. You know, um, and that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, I've been asked many times, do you share your faith a lot? And I said, well, because I had to defend it. Yeah. And I had no idea it was going to be like that when we did the Passion of the Christ. But there's a point where, you know, I had to, the, the, a line was drawn and I'm not uh, backing up. Yeah. So, um, you know, Jesus says, be not afraid. Um, well, I'm not, I am afraid, but the difference is I, I continue to move forward. Amen. 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 I would say, uh, re really similar, you know, I would say uh, it, it, it's really rooted in, in developing that relationship with Christ, you know, and, and realizing that, that what, what His plan for you is what matters, you know. I came to Franciscan University in 1991, I did the master's program. My desire was to work uh, with the young church, which really the filmmaking process kind of came out of that. But you couldn't have told me 10 years ago that we'd, I'd have the privilege and the opportunity to make feature films and to be on this project. And you can't plan that, you know. Yes. But if you, but if, you <laughs> <laughs> if you say, if you say, uh, Lord, my life is yours, you know, and you could just get ready for the adventure, you know. But to do and to seek to do everything with excellence, like whatever the vocation, whatever you're called to. We need, we need really hardworking Catholics in all fields of life, yes. in all professions out there. You know, we need, we need to present, do, do our craft with excellence. Yeah. And, 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 and that's what God calls us to. So I think yeah. no matter where you're called, and, and, and a nod to the arts and, 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 and beauty. I mean, Dostoevsky said it's beauty that will change the world. It's going to save the world. And, yeah. and, and, and um, we need that. We need to recapture that and, and, and to recapture what good and true beauty is. Amen. You know? Amen. Amen. That's great. Well, this project is beautiful. It is inspiring. I know it will have an impact on the world. I want to thank you both, uh, both for joining us today, but for making this, because this is going to change some people's lives, and I know it's going to start a whole new revolution uh, of return to the faith. So thank you both. Thank, thank you. you.